My name is Mike Madsen and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS applications engineer here at GoEngineer. And in this GoEngineer quick tips video, I'll be discussing the new revolve end condition for SOLIDWORKS 2011. There are some times when you need to create a revolved feature that intersects a complex surface, but you don't know the amount of degrees that you need that revolve to go. With SOLIDWORKS 2011, you can now revolve a sketch up to that complex surface without having to guess how far it needs to go or the amount of degrees it needs to go. Let's look at an example. Let's say you want to create handles for this particular geometry, but you notice that you have some bulges in the surface, and also you don't want to penetrate this thickness. What we can do, for starters, is go ahead on the right plane, and we'll create this handle. I'll go ahead and create a circle. And I'll dimension it out about 0.6 inches. And that will be our profile for the revolve. I'll then go ahead and go into Revolved Base. And I'll select this axis that I've predefined as my revolve. And then I'll change my end condition to Up to Surface. Now at this point I'll need to select this bulged surface. And we'll notice that we get half of the handle. I'll need to go ahead and select the direction 2 to finish that up. I'll do the same procedure by selecting that surface again. And now we get a nice preview and also a nice finished revolve. Now really quickly there I'll add a little bit here to this and just mirror this particular feature off of the, the front plane. And I'll go ahead and select this revolve sketch, check on geometry pattern and go ahead and get a nice mirrored finish as well. So the handles are now complete. And this is a nice finished feature there, simply and easily done. This has been Mike Madsen with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video.